Okay, so book creator. So there are some things you can learn in the getting started tutorial. And so that's really all it is, but so to create a new book, you can press new, you press new book and you pick from one of these the comics, make it look like a comic. But I like to pick portrait, but you can pick square or landscape. Those just make the pages bigger. So the cover, essentially, I like to add um, cool backgrounds to it. So how you do that is you press the I right there. And then you can change it to like a solid color, like one of these things. Or you can go to comics and change this. Now you can also add borders. Now, it looks like that. This is a cool one to use for science, so is this one. But yeah, they have all different types of stuff. Um, you can change what the paper looks like if you want a graph paper. It, you can change it to make it look like a writing paper. One of these papers and even a music note paper. But I like to just keep mine normal. Okay. You can also add textures. That's just like adding wood things and stuff, which I don't really like, but. So you can also share a screenshot from Book Creator. But, uh, editor settings, and they have soundtrack, which I don't really think you'll need them if you're using this for school. But this just do a comic. Um, I like the green and red ones. And they have all different types of comics. So let's just do like this red one right here. That looks more pink. Okay. And then, so you can add photos for it, like that. So you just press the add button and then photos. And then albums. And then, if you want to, you can take pictures of something. So, they have all different types of things you can do for the cover. Um, if you want to do pen, you can do this, and I'll get more in depth of that. Or you can just like draw and then erase. So, I'm just going to put a couple emojis. And I'm just going to draw I. So see how that works? And you can erase the emojis too. If you don't like it. But I do. So put it down there. And sorry that my writing might be bad. Um. But anyway, when you're done, you just press done. And then it usually gives you like five pages. As you can see at the top, it says two of three of five. So it knows uh, the page. And if you look at the top on this, it shows you that that's the cover. So you can add text also. Which you just press add text. So let's just say I'm just gonna put my name. So let's just say you want it bigger. You can press it, press the I, and you can delete it with the bottom. You can align it in certain ways. I like to keep it to the right. You can have shadow, 
which as you can see it makes a little bit shadow a uh, background you can change the background of the text box um, I like it white actually this should do red um, you can change the size of it you can change the color of the text itself and you can change the font to anything okay and for this uh, you can also do page and you can also change the background and stuff from there so if you have to really you press this um, to change the background also which I like um, you can do comics which they have all types of comics borders these two are really cool to use at science but you can do anything uh, you, you can do papers so you can change it to like a graph paper and then if you don't like that you just change it back you can also do patterns um, and you can do textures which is like wood but so if this get let's learn more about the pen so you can tap this to change the color now they have all these different shades the magic inks you can color the rainbow one is just changes colors while you're writing this one does that the leaf nothing just stays the same this one though I really like it's kind of cool realistic the galaxy one is also cool and then they have like all the grass the sparkles they have a bunch of different stuff so if you want to change it to the thickness it's down at the bottom um, I like to keep it maybe in the middle usually so this one this is really cool because you can like draw scribbles and then up at the top you'll see pictures and you can like do that change it into something else whatever you want so I like the, gla the grass one the best you can change it to grass or I mean crayon you can change this to a highlighter change it to the auto one which is like i said it can do the pictures and then you can add emojis so you just press that emoji thing and then you can add sound to it and you just press that and it'll ask to access the microphone and then you can import a sound from like your iPad which is like iTunes and all that other stuff and then when you press the add you can add more and it has shapes which is just shapes you can put on your paper uh, files which you can take stuff from files you have map which is an actual map and web embed embedded or web embed and you can just search stuff from the web and when you're done with your book you just press uh, that play button and I'll show you stuff and then you can press read again now if you want to get out of your book you press my books and then let's say you don't like it and you want to delete it, you press 
of the three books at the bottom. You can combine books, you can import books, you can move it to a bookshelf, you can copy it, and you can delete it. So, how to add a bookshelf, you just name it, and then you can add new books on different bookshelves. And so, yeah, that's really what Book Creator is.